Hello. This video is a candid video that I wanted to do talking about my mental health. This is a video, an open, honest video diary video of me talking about, like I just said, my mental health. There will be no colour correction. There will be no background music. There will be no edits. This video is going to be uploaded all in one go. And however long it is, is however long it is. I don't care. So, as many of you will know, I have suffered, shall we say, with mental health issues, mainly anxiety and depression, and I also am on the autistic spectrum, autism spectrum, or Asperger's spectrum, I don't know the difference personally. Well, I do, but I don't, or whatever. <laughs> um, because this is a mental health video, I will say before I continue, that mental health could be considered a trigger for some people, so I, uh, I, I warn you, and I also want to say, you know me, I tend to word things wrong and offend people, and I hope I don't offend anyone with this video, because this isn't an opinion video, this is a story time video. Excuse me, I need to take the jumper off. I'm now regretting <laughs> not making the cuts bit, because I just cut this out. But now I've got to do this while in video. I'm trying to... Um, this is awkward. Good. There we go. Back to it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, with my depression, uh, I've had it, should we say, for, uh, for a couple of years now, and have recently started therapy. Uh, I had my second session the other day, and one of the things that we're going to be doing in the progression is, while well, I've been, I don't say warned, and that's not the right word, is to do a video diary or just a diary of some sort. Just look at the days and look back at your part and look at them. Just kind of look in the mirror at yourself without being cliche, obviously, and look about, oh, I wasn't okay then, but I was okay then. And you go, oh no, it's, you know, you look at the ups and downs and identify what made you go into that. That's the point of the diary. One of the things I was encouraged was to do a video diary every so often, which is why I'm doing this video. It's one of, it's, it, it's, I'm not going to talk about my therapy because it's personal to me, um, but it's, this is one of the things that was suggested was to do a video diary. And it wasn't even, it was even just to do a video diary and wasn't make it public. That wasn't one of the things. It was just a video myself talking to the camera as if I'm talking, to, I'm talking directly to the therapist instead of talking directly to the therapist, if you know what I mean. So, um, but I am making this one public. Um, but like I said, I'm not making any edits at all. I am actually uploading this video straight from the card. There are going to be literally nothing, so do forgive things. So, back to the point of this video. I know I'm waffled on a bit, you know me, I waffle. So, let's, let's dive in to identifying me and my depression. Now I've spoken about this in previous videos, I'm not going to go into too much detail because again I've spoken about it in length in the past and um, and stuff like that. And I, I personally want to move on <laughs> from certain aspects and I don't like bringing stuff up because it's not useful. Bringing stuff up that's sad is not useful, I, I don't think. Anyway, as many of you will be aware, I'm an openly gay man. However, a couple of years ago, I went through a questioning period that has been identified and it was a, am I transgender? Now this was brought to, when I say brought to my attention, the reason I came to thinking I was transgender or thinking I was another gender was because I did videos on this channel called I Have a Makeover. And you can look back, it's where my friends put me in my makeup and stuff like that. And I think we did about two, I think we did two of those. And afterwards I remember thinking, I like wearing this, this is quite cool. And that made me go, oh. And I don't mean that in a, oh, it's, it's wrong. I, I, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying in any way. Do not take that. Anyway, um, but it was the, oh, I'm not who I was. I know that sounds cliche and sounds cheesy, but it was. I was like, I don't know who I am. And that question went on for about a year. And then the worst bit was, is something in college at the time was happening as well. I got into an, I won't go into any detail because I really want to move on from this. Um, it caused me in college 
to fall out with a group of people and then also but then with that group of people the entire class we since all reconnected um, and as we'll go on disconnected quite a bit um, and stuff like that however there was that moving on that's that whatever um, so I went through a year of being or a long period of time where that group of friends didn't want anything to do with me I was on my own I, I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to do to turn to I didn't know anything I was called selfish a few times as well so when you don't know who you are and you've got no one to talk to it is very very bad and that entire year, 2018 that that was, um, I consider one of the worst years of my life. I then left college, and as you know, I auditioned as a red coat in Butlins. Uh, I did get in, I was put on their waiting list, um, which means that um, when someone leaves, I can take over their, take their place, basically. That was what happened. But what that did for me was I didn't take any other jobs on because I was waiting for, because any minute I could get the call from Butlin saying we need you. So I didn't accept any jobs. So I wasn't doing anything from the whole of 2019. I did nothing. I just sat and watched telly basically. Did a couple of gigs, a couple of my regular gigs. Not really any new gigs. And I think it wasn't till later on in the year, about October, I went, I'm not going to be uh, a red coat. That was about October, September, October. So from October when I auditioned to the next September, October time was, that's how long, a year. Um, and it was, it was actually February 2019 that I got the email saying, if you like, please audition again. We don't want to take this position further. Please audition again. Now, I'm not saying that because I didn't get a button is why I was depressed. It was because of my reaction to it was, oh, I'll just wait. It'll come. I'll just wait, and it didn't. <laughs> so, but it's not Butlin's fault. Don't don't be thinking I'm blaming them here. Um, in any way, shape, or form. Um, but also, and this is something I have spoken about in the past and will not be bringing up often, was I had a friend, uh, a close friend. We're not friends anymore. My mum's just arrived. Home. She's been out. Whatever. Hi! Whatever. Sorry. Um, and we're not friends anymore. Don't worry, it's not something bad. Uh, who I had a crush on. And they lived well away from me. So I didn't see them again. Anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Moving on. Um, unfortunately, at the end of 20, um, summer, sorry, not the end, summer 2019, uh, a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, passed away. Um, and I probably reacted in a way, I've got to be very careful with my wording here, uh, that wasn't, I just reacted badly, let's just say that. Um, the, the friends of mine who were also mourning, didn't understand that I, this is the first time anything like this. I've had relatives pass away, obviously, but I was very young and didn't understand it. This was the first time in my life that someone I'd seen nearly every day and knew very well and was at this point in my life and, and uh, yeah, and just a, bad time should we say was uh, yeah he, he passed away and um, I was actually given the depression diagnosis three or four days before as well so yeah um, it took me a long time to get over it now uh, I don't want to say comfortable over him I don't mean that in that respect uh, anyone who's lost a friend will know what I mean by that moving on um, to 2020. What a year that was. <laughs> well, I basically did nothing. No gigs. No shows. One thing I have, and I haven't spoken about before, is I have anxiety. I have... Uh, I, my anxiety just makes me feel sick. In fact, and I will show you, I've had to buy these. Excuse me. 
um, by these, which are sick bags, which I take one with me every day out of fear of being sick. I've had anti-sickness pills, I've tried all the tricks in the book, and yeah, uh, I have. I get nervous and everything. Yeah, that's my anxiety. It's not the nicest thing. However, what this does mean is I struggle with performing. My love, I love performing. I have a characters, I have Flopper, I have all these fun things, and I have YouTube and all this. And I don't progress anymore out of fear. I don't know how to. I don't understand the world. That's This is my autism now speaking. I, I do waffle and go on tangents. Um, I don't understand the world as well. The fact that I'm not doing the thing I enjoy is really, really... It gets to me more than it should, should we say. Um, I've got friends in the entertainment industry, brilliant friends, who are doing really well, and I'm happy for them. This is not me saying I'm really annoyed by them. And I see them and go, oh, I want a bit of that. And here I am in my room, still in my pyjamas. Admittedly, it's late at night. And, yeah. Then there was another problem, which I haven't spoken about much, is YouTube in general. Now, I've never, and I've, this is going to sound like a youtube updatey thingy. This isn't, and I've said this before, I will say it again a million times probably, and I will say it here now. I have never done YouTube for the views. I never sit down and make a video going, oh, well, let's think of a video that'll get me a million views, a million subscribers. Never thought that, not in a million years. I make videos I wanna make. Um, if I, I would never make a video I don't, I don't want to do, unless it's one of those videos that I don't wanna do, but I do wanna do, like the ASMR video I did a few months back. I didn't want to do an ASMR video, but I thought I'd take the mick out of them. You know what I mean. And as time has gone on, the channel, it's no secret, it's no lie, I'm not going to lie, hasn't been doing very well. And I mean, really badly. And you go, why do I do it? Now there are reasons why I still do it. I, like I said, I'm not in it for the views, that's why I still do it. Um, hate comments, don't care about them. However, you sit there and go, I'm spending all this time on a video that no one's going to watch. And you're just like, Phew. so, yeah, I'm, I, and I'm also burnt out. I, this channel is 12 years, going to be 12 years old in 20, August 2022. I took it seriously, should we say full time in late 2015. It's been a long time this channel's been going on for and... It's probably going on too long. Now, this is not me saying I'm quitting. Um, I've come up with my own plans, how I'm going to run it. So December, which is the month we're in right now, I'm going to... Um, December, uh, which I'm going to right now, uh, do upload sporadically. January, sporadically again. February, not at all. No uploads during February. Not one. Well, there might be one. I might do an odd live stream. I haven't decided yet, but... My plan is February, the shortest month of the year. Remember this, this is why I picked February. That's why I'm waiting till February. The shortest month of the year. Yeah, I don't, and I know a lot of people say, oh, what about the algorithm? I do not care. The algorithm clearly hates me. <laughs> so that's what's happening, if you're wondering. I know that sounds irrelevant to the mental health, but like I've just said, I'm burnt out like mad, okay? And there are people who will be watching this video who have helped me with this channel, and I'm so thankful. Oh. Thankful to them. I'm not the only person that works on the Harvo show. That's why the Harvo show has happened a lot. I'm not the only person that works on the short films. I'm not the only person that works on the documentaries. Having other people I have learnt over these past few years has really helped. And that would be my advice to anyone, is go to your friends. And if you don't have any friends, I don't want to say just go and make friends. I know that's, it's easier said than done. I send my videos out to people, and they probably hate the fact I send my videos out to people. To them, and they'll be like, oh, why am I watching his rubbish again? I get that. You know, I get sent stuff, and I'm like, I really don't want to be watching this, but I'm going to watch it. They still do. Even if they're in their busy schedules, they find the time, and I thank them for that. So, where do we go from here? Like I just said... February I'm taking a break, you know this. I will announce it again 
in January, I will say it again, because I have to repeat myself, obviously. Lately, I, as I said, I've started therapy. I'm starting to make progress. I just want to say thank you to everyone for your support and everything. Hopefully, 2022 will be my year. The year things work. I hopefully will be starting to perform more gigs. The fact I've not, that's one thing I, I did briefly come up on this, the fact I'm not doing many shows isn't, oh, I'll just go get an agent. It's not, it doesn't work like that. It's very difficult. I've contacted agents, I've contacted people. They're either not interested, not able to, or don't even respond. Anyway, Thank you for listening to this video. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for listening to my story. And I'm going to go now. Um, sorry to waffle, and sorry to make this video depressing, and sorry, just sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for listening.